Hello everyone, I am Archie Tolentino from the Philippines, one of the 64 finalists in the World Sneaker Championships 2016. And I am here to talk about the design inspiration behind my project. So right now we're in studio and I apologize if you're hearing a, lo a, a loud buzzing sound in the background for sitting right beside a uh, large mechanical motor so I'll try to speak as loud and as clear as I can so please bear with me okay so all the design inspiration part of the design brief we were tasked to choose a city of our uh, liking to represent and for me my choice city is uh, Manila for this specific project I'm going to be taking you back a few decades during the 1920s and 1930s Manila where it was a, a blooming city a promising and a futuristic city back then. So it was before the war and right in the heart of the city is a street called Escolta. Um, Escolta is the, you can consider it as the main street. It is the center of all the activity in the city. It was called the premier business and shopping district. It was a center of culture and fashion and it's also called this, this, the Queen Street of Manila. So all the firsts were seen in Escolta. The first bank was established in Escolta. The first shopping malls were established in Escolta. First luxury stores, imported goods stores you can find in Escolta. In addition, you can find the first ice cream parlor established in the city or anywhere in the country in Escolta, which is a big thing because we live in a tropical country. It gets really hot. So if you can imagine yourself back in that era wearing your linen coat, tie, nice linen pants, walking down the street where left and right you can see some finer stores, some finer restaurants, all the newest, all the best, all in that one stretch of the street, people passing by, seeing your friends from across the street, socializing. So that was the general picture of that part of the city, 1920s and 1930s. Now, during the same era, uh, uh, there was a company established uh, called El Porvenir Rubber Products Incorporated. They were considered as the rubber shoe pioneers in the country. Um, their slogan is Malinis and Malami para sa paa. So translated, it's, it means cool and clean to the feel of the feet or it's clean and cool to the feel of the feet. So I use that as the guiding design criteria, design philosophy for my project. Um, cool being uh, cool having this uh, consideration for the ventilation and clean meaning it should be visually clean. So I'm taking that element of living of Escolta living and the, the design performance criteria of cool and clean. So that was the two elements I combined and I, then I came up with this project. Okay, on to the design. For the shape, I chose a contemporary high cut silhouette. Um, if you look at the upper, there are minimal panels, minimal color blocking, and more attention on the stitching. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the inspiration is the fashion during that era, which is cleaner and uh, let's say structured. You know? So there's a lot more attention to the fit, um, to the proportions on, on the body versus patches or, or parts that, uh, that are too distracting. Part of design criteria, I chose a very clean and simply well, simple design of paying more attention to the materials. Speaking of materials, um, the upper is made out of uh, Napa leather, the liner is uh, made of leather also, and, and in the heel counter, you can see a molded TPU plastic with vent holes um, that harp on that uh, cool and clean feel to the feet. Slogan of El Porvenir company back then. So to cool the feet, we're using some vents um, in the heel and the midfoot. The 
placing of the vent is strategic because when you try to imagine you know, that step in motion, you always kind of have that void space you create in that part of the midfoot. And then when you go, and when the foot goes like that, of course, sort of collapses, forces the air out. So that's the same idea um, in, the, in the placement of the vent cutouts. So the midsole, the midsole is uh, composed of a soft foam with cutouts and the outsole design is inspired by the layout of the streets in downtown Manila um, where you have those intersecting streets creating these inter interesting nodes uh, and, and in those nodes you can actually find gathering plazas where people meet uh, and you know, promote that city activity to the puzzle of the old Manila. Um, of course, it's also performance driven. Um, flex roofs are strategically placed um, for a better flex of the foot. And the midsole cutouts can also see a uh, wood veneer. Um, the wood species actually is uh, taken from a national tree of the Philippines, which is not a uh, it is it is endemic, it is coveted because of the hardness of the wood and because of the unique um, shade of the stain of the wood. It's a, it's quite reddish um, in person. It, it, it actually also changes um, I don't know how but in different uh, times of the day. It's a really, really nice material to use in construction, of course. Um, it, change, it, it changes its uh, shade depending on the light, depending on the angle, depending on the light. So that was the inspiration behind my project. Um, I hope you like my design. I hope you vote for my design. It is centered in culture, history, and also fashion. Um, thank you for your time. Thanks for listening. If you want to see more of these kinds of projects, I have a portfolio blog. I can uh, put the link below. Also, um, I put up updates on my Instagram account, on my Twitter. I'll put the link below also. Let me know what you think. Um, let me know how I can improve. That's very important feedback. Again, thank you for your time. I appreciate the votes for those who already voted. And I hope to make it to the next round. And of course, be crowned as the World Sneaker Champion for 2016. Again, this is Archie Pilatino from the Philippines. Thank you for your time. See you later.